Okay, it looks like I am in the home run of my life today <laughs> because collecting sports cards is one of my passions. A father and son duo known as the Robbies are the two guys you want to see to get items authenticated and auctioned off. Take a look at what they do from Netflix's King of Collectibles. You could take anybody in the world and they know who Babe Ruth is. Hey, Ed, look, you call us over to look at some things. Just tell me right now, is that one of the items that I'm going to leave here with and come back with money? I'm going to have to think about it because I'm emotionally tired, but I did call you over for a reason. I, I've, I've got one more thing. I mean, let me show you what I got here. I've got a hell of a collection of Beanie Babies. <laughs> Joining us now are the experts, co-owners of Robbie's First Base, Robbie Davis Sr. and Robbie Jr. Fellas, welcome to the program. I am so delighted that you're here, and you've got some treasures on this desk. You want to walk us through really sure. quickly what you got sure. there? Sure. First, thank you for having us. This, this is a pleasure. Um, so what we have here, first we got a 1930 New York Yankees team signed baseball. What makes this cool, it's got two of the most iconic players in baseball history on the ball. Babe Ruth, which everybody knows, we just mentioned that, and Lou Gehrig, both yeah. on this ball. Three years removed from arguably the best team in baseball history, the 27 Yankees. Sure. Most of those guys are also on that ball. $30,000 baseball. Okay. Um, this right here, 86-87 Fleer basketball set. It features the rookie card of Michael Jordan. That's a big card oh. right there. That's a big card. This card's a big deal. To have this set completely graded by a PSA, Huge. This is about a twenty-five thousand dollars set. Wow. This card is like the. This is the card of this last generation of collectors. This is the fifty-two mantle for the previous collect, the previous generation of collectors. This is the card that I've not everybody seen one wants. of those in real life. I'm, I'm like drawn to. I want to climb over the desk. <laughs> well, it's for sale. Hold him. He can't afford it. He has children at home. But you know, the good thing about this eighty-six set. Eighty-six is not very long ago. Mm -hmm is that somebody could walk into a store, spend $30, and, walk and, away. and, and buy the packs of cards that these would be in, mm -hmm. and now it's worth $30,000, mm -hmm. and could be worth more predicated on if that Jordan was a 10. That's right. And it, there's not a lot of things you can do that with, but with our industry, you can do that. But that sort of actually brings me to a little bit of a question. We're we're a money show, and we've sure. talked about how, especially in high inflationary environments, are people collecting these as a store of value, as a place to sort of put their wealth well, and me, to hide out? I'm going to answer that question. 2008, in 2008, the stock market crashed because yep. of the houses. Yeah. And then um, a couple of years ago, well, the, the, the COVID, COVID, and you couldn't work. But our cards weathered the storm, and there's a reason why. Yes. Mm. Advertising sells everything. Mm. I mean, they're advertising, uh, our cards, when you buy cards from us, they're advertised every day, free, every day, all year long, every year. And, the, and here's why. Whenever there's a new ball player, new tennis player, new soccer player, when he comes and starts throwing up crazy numbers, People in sports get on there and compare his numbers mm -hmm. to Mickey Mantle, to Michael Jordan. Sure, Tiger is, right. ain't Woods in yeah. a long time, yeah. but his numbers are being compared. Sure. Wow. And that, so you buy the item, America's going to hype it. Value. Yeah, mm -hmm. you, you hype it without us spending. We don't have to have no advertising. Yep. Yeah. Every day somebody's talking about yeah. Tiger Woods, Michael Jordan. That's a great point. I thought the 1930 baseball would be more than 30000 Well, you would think so. And here's the thing that's funny is that this ball has probably about six or seven Hall of Famers on there, mm. the most notable being Gehrig and Ruth. You would think the fact that it has Lou Gehrig and Babe Ruth on the ball that it would be worth more having the combination of the yeah. two. But really they're worth more if they're separate single sign, single sign balls because it's more oh. of a marketable piece. Yeah. It's more and, unique. And condition. You and condition also makes a looks. difference. I see a lot of dirt on that ball. Well, wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's not necessarily dirt. It's a 1930, and things from 1930 don't always look yeah. so good. You know, oh, but. All right. <laughs> so, fellas, I'm, I'm a collector. I've actually got a whole right. collection in my office here at Fox. I think we've got a picture of it, don't we? That's my cardboard glory wow. wall, and that's where I put wow, baseball that cards right. that I love. Yeah, that's my office. Okay. But here's the thing. So I I'm, I love collecting, but I, I could never part with what I collect uh -oh. because I just fall in love with it. Mm -hmm. i got to imagine you fall in love with some of the things that you, you know. Have. My granddaughter, Emery, asked me the other day, 
is there something that I wouldn't um, get rid of? Mm. And I'm going to tell you flat out, Deutschmark, Cougaran, peso or yen, <laughs> I'm about dollars. <laughs> nice. That's what I'm about. Right? Yeah. So okay. when Taylor walks through the store at Robbie's first base and offer me a dollar more than something I have there, uh -huh. what to do, what to do, what to do, <laughs> out the door it's going. Money speaks. Yeah. That's why out we're the called the Big going. Money Cause, Show. Because yeah. <laughs> I want to look back, because we get kids, parents coming in now and say they bought this from mm -hmm. us 20 years ago right? and now it's worth this. That means a lot to me. Sure. That wow. means a lot to me that wow. my expertise can show you how I can compete against the stock market with wow. cards nice. that you can walk into a store, pay five dollars, and that, and you're looking at thirty thousand sure. right now. And, and that, don't get it wrong, we started as collectors. We wouldn't be in this industry, yeah. in this business, if we weren't collectors to begin with. But there comes a point in time, you know, when you're in the business, you got to realize that for the most part, things are replaceable, and collectors wake up every day trying to collect. Yeah. I wake up every day trying to help you build your collection. So to me, that still is an element of collecting. You know, Brian, if you tell me you're a Minnesota Twins fan. Which I am. You want to get a Harmon Killebrew game used bat. I'm going to make it my life mission until I find that Harmon Killebrew game used bat to find that bat. That's collecting. You know, I'm collecting that for you. And that's that's what I wake up trying to do every day. You know, I got a Harmon Killebrew Same. baseball glove wallet right here. I love it. And we didn't even plan that. <laughs> I told you these guys were going to be good. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Robbie, yeah. Really yeah. Robbie Jr., we're well so done. glad to have you in the program. Thanks for yep. showing up. Appreciate it. We appreciate Thanks for having us. Thank you.